What up, YouTube? Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech. I have uh, something to report coming out of LG, and it looks like what they want to do is they're going to be releasing their models with activated FM radio chips in their devices. Uh, what they're doing is they're going to be working with a company called Next Radio to enable the feature here in the United States and make it available to use by users that have LG devices. So a lot of people may not actually know this, but uh, most phones, even the United States models, have a uh, FM radio uh, actual hardware component installed and it's disabled by carriers. So when you buy like a, a, a carrier branded cell phone device from a carrier and you get it activated and you're using it, the FM radio chip is actually disabled by them. And I'm not really sure what the reasoning is behind it. You know, why would you want to disable a feature that, you know, users of the device could find useful? But it's been going on for a while. I remember, you know, several years ago, these FM radio chips were enabled and they were not being disabled and you could use them. You know, going back to the OG droids uh, made by Motorola and other phones, LGs alike, uh, all of them had activated uh, FM radio chips. And what this did was this allowed you to listen to FM radio without, you know, using data, or at least it minimalized how much data you had to use. So this is something that um, would definitely be advantageous for users. I see LG is teaming up with the Next Radio app to bring the FM radio feature to the LG smartphones here in the U.S., Canada, and Latin American countries. This would be great. The only thing they're going to have to get is get the okay through carriers to make sure that they don't disable the feature. So they'll have to come to some sort of agreement, I guess. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, FM radio uses a ton less data. And I mean, I remember back in the day when I was using FM radio, uh, activation chip inside my phone, you know, I, I don't even remember any measurable amount of data being used, honestly. Uh, but that was several years ago. So I'm assuming that now this could be a little bit different, but up to 20 times less data sounds like a great thing. You know, with all of our bandwidth issues and spectrum being maximized, on networks like Verizon and AT&T, uh, even T-Mobile and Sprint could take advantage of this. Absolutely. It, you know, free up the spectrum, less users, you know, demanding, taxing the network because they're streaming so much data. Uh, this could definitely be something good. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, number one, were you aware that phones, a lot of phones had FM radio chips? And number two, um, do you think that this is an important feature moving forward, at least in the near future? I think it's a great thing. They should have never disabled them to begin with. So, um, you know, I say the carriers should kind of free the reins on the FM radio chips. I'd love to see this feature, not just from LG and Next Radio, but from other companies as well, device manufacturers and carriers alike. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Please share and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.